Something's changed in the town of Barvinkova. The Russian invasion was a theoretical threat, but it's starting to feel very real. It's getting closer, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, says this reservist. These men, all volunteers, have been turned into frontline troops, and we found them digging trenches and preparing barricades on the outskirts of town. The Russians sent reminders of their progress, their shells pounding a nearby field, while the local commander pondered past and present. The Russian military is on the move, attempting to encircle Ukrainian troops in the east, and they have plenty of tools at their disposal. It's a drone. We took cover as a drone circled overhead. The weather is perfect for them. It might be the most frightening thing for the people on the ground right now. The all clear given, the troops got back to work. And there's no problem with morale in Bavinkova. But there may be an issue with the equipment. This gun dates from the 1940s. Some of your equipment looks pretty, pretty ancient. Raritet, not raritet. The main thing is to work. In our hands, it works. Even if the gun is shooting, it will be. So we use all the available weapons that we have available to us, in principle. On a nearby hilltop, we were greeted by the sight and the sound of Ukrainian tanks heading towards the front line. while technicians were busy preparing others for battle. However, there was one crew focused on a new piece of property, something picked up a couple of kilometers away. This is a Russian T-72 tank. It's been actually captured from the Russians. It was damaged, they're making repairs and loading it up with ammunition and they'll be ready to go this afternoon, they say. How important is it to be able to to get these things up and running? Нам чим побільше їх надо. Нам чим більше нам дадуть, це буде круто. Чим більше. Нам чим більше на танків людей хватає. Хлопці всі герої. In the center of town, members of a volunteer battalion made their final preparations before heading to the front. Some listened to music. I will not die, roared the singer and they all wrapped blue tape around their arms. It's the way Ukrainians identify themselves. If I say um, people are not scared or something like this, it's bull****. Everybody a bit scared. That's normal, that's war. Uh, nobody sure he will return to home. Yeah, nobody sure he will see them, his family, uh, his uh, girlfriend and others. So everybody a bit scared. In Bavinkova, there is courage and there is fear, for the Ukrainians are outmanned and outgunned by their adversary. But there is something here worth fighting for, and they are prepared to pay the price. John Sparks, Sky News in eastern Ukraine.